Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to an episode of Life Made Easy and today guys I'm going to be doing a kind of like a ramble sort of video where I just discuss the state of Call of Duty. Um, I understand I'm not a gaming channel but I have played Call of Duty in the past and play a little of it uh, today but I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on like the state of Call of Duty and why I think it's going downhill for the most part because um, I, I grew up playing this game. Uh, I started off with I think Modern Warfare 2 was the very first COD I ever played and then I kind of like went back and forth between older and newer COD titles. My favorite game was Black Ops 2. If you guys played that leave that in the comments section down below because that was a great game. I used to love playing League Play and Zombies. On Black Ops 2 I'd just switch back and forth all the time and I'd play with my friends. It'd be insanely fun and as more Call of Duties have been created um, in my opinion they've gotten worse uh, because the Activision and the publishers such as like Treyarch and Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games are more focused on microtransactions and charging the consumer as much money as possible without delivering a stellar product and they kind of like they put aside the good product mentality and replace that with trying to upcharge you and sell as many cosmetics and stickers and battle passes and all that sort of stuff and like for black ops 4 this is the best example of this is like they just dump microtransactions on you without releasing new content in the actual game um i'm not sure how many maps they've released in black ops 4 but it's way less than what they were promising with their battle pass and it was so stupid how they they say oh come buy our battle um our uh what's it called battle pass or season pass or whatever without letting you know what's even in the past like that to me is just screwed up you should not do that to a consumer um that's practically gambling and you don't know what you're paying for basically um so that's a scummy move on triarch's part and now i don't know if you guys knew this but uh, Sledgehammer Games apparently was making a horrible game and it just was like not developing well. So Treyarch is actually taking over Sledgehammer Games' title and creating Black Ops 5 for 2020 Call of Duty. Um, this year it's going to be Modern Warfare and so they've like teased that slightly. And this is a problem because Black Ops 4 in my opinion is half-baked. It's not even a complete game in its current state. I don't think they have every feature in the game that normal Call of Duty is used to ship with. They're like really far behind on everything in schedule. I don't know how they're going to like create a whole new game um, in like under a year, on a little over a year. Um, I don't th I don't see that happening. I see I honestly think they should just give it a, another year, take a year off from Call of Duty and try to focus on making a better product but they won't because they're money hungry they are big corporations and they want to make as much money as possible that's why they're uh, filling the games with microtransactions they know it's a guaranteed increase in revenue because they know little kids are going getting their mother's credit cards and they're buying all these little cosmetics weapons supply drops all that crap and they know that kids are gullible and if you put all that stuff in front of them and make it seem like it has all this value they're gonna buy it i used to be the same way when i was younger um if i see a new map pack come out and they're shoving advertising in my face or a new gun comes out and they make it look like the coolest thing ever you're gonna uh have an incentive to buy it because it looks cool and it's the way they market their products or um, their in-game uh products and Call of Duty is good at this. Activision is good at this, the way they market their stuff. So I don't have a problem with their marketing team or anything. But it's just the it's actually the game development that's bothering me is how they're more focused on microtransactions and not actually creating a good enough product. Like, how do you release um, Black Ops 4 without lobby leaderboards? Or how many players are online? I have a feeling they do that because they're embarrassed to know that the player base is wicked small and they don't want anyone to know about that. So that's just my opinion on that topic, but yeah, so Call of Duty's going downhill. I used to be a huge Zombies fan for those who play Zombies. Leave a comment down below if you guys love Zombies too. I'm a huge Zombies fan. I uh, played all the Easter eggs in Black Ops 3. I did a lot of the Easter eggs in Black Ops 2. I just love, I'm, I'm an Easter egg kind of guy. I also go for high rounds. Favorite map is Origins. I think that's the best map ever. Second favorite is Dryzen Drock on Black Ops 3. 
Um, also love Shadows of Evil. It's a great map. But yeah, love zombies. I actually am a big fan of Infinite Warfare zombies. And that's... I have Infinite Warfare multiplayer in the background. I don't think this multiplayer was that bad. I think people trashed it. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that great of a multiplayer experience. But did the job. I mean, it was decent enough. But that's the whole issue here. Is they keep delivering the same thing over and over again with like slight changes every year and it's not enough as for me as a consumer to keep buying it so I'm probably not going to buy Modern Warfare. I bought Black Ops 4 because I'm a huge Treyarch fan and I love zombies and I wanted to see what the zombies was in Black Ops 4 but the zombies did not come through. It wasn't that great. I played it for a little while and I realized this just isn't that fun. I'm not, I'm not like that hardcore guy who's going to go for like level 1000 in zombies. That's just not realistic at all. Um, I much rather like do Easter eggs and stuff like that, but they made the Easter eggs insanely difficult. Now, like you need like a PhD to solve a simple Easter egg on a map. It's like, why are you making me go Google how to do the Easter egg? Like you give me no shot to try to figure it out on my own because it's so complicated. And I don't know, that's a whole separate thing. But yeah, so Call of Duty's going down the tubes. Uh, microtransactions are taking over. Activision's a money-hungry corporation, just like every other corporation out there. Their number one goal is to make money, and they're not focusing on pleasing the consumer enough. Because in the in the in the end, I don't know if you guys are taking finance or anything, but it's a huge issue. Companies that try to maximize profit in a short period of time is never a good thing, and that ends up just actually destroying their own company, um, destroying their player base. Less people are going to play your title less people are going to buy your product because you're it's clear that you just care about money and you don't care about the consumer that's a huge problem with corporate america that's uh, getting really deep now but i respect the companies like fortnite who come out with weekly updates trying to add new content to the game it's a free-to-play game um, they're trying to benefit the consumer as much as possible even though i'm not a huge fan of fortnite anymore uh, just because like people are getting too good at that game, I do respect what they do at Epic Games, and uh, their Battle Pass actually has useful stuff. Unlike the Apex Legends Battle Pass, and unlike the Black Ops 4 Battle Pass, which both are hot garbage. So that's that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this little rant. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the state of Call of Duty down below as well. If you guys would be so kind, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you want to become a member and support the channel financially and help me out make more better content, you guys can become a member of Life Made Easy and earn some little like badges and icons and stuff like that. Just hit the join button down below. I have that available. And if you guys want to buy some Life Made Easy merch, I got some cool merch on Teespring. Links below if you guys want to check that out. And... As usual, I always have my Amazon affiliate links down below. If you guys make a purchase using my links, I earn a commission off that. I'm open about that. And just use my links. If, 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 you if you're a huge Amazon shopper, just click my link. Go buy whatever you want. And you can support the channel. So, guys, that's going to be it. Follow me on my social medias. If you guys want to go follow me on Mixer and Twitch, I stream there every once in a while. So, you can check that out. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Have a great day.